Hi guys, I hope this isn't too late for the big game this weekend, but if not, you can have it any time. And these are pull-apart sliders, and I looked at a lot of recipes, and this seemed like the best one to me. Now, don't worry about any of the um, amounts, because they'll all be down below. But I, I've got two pounds of uh, ground beef. And in this, I've got smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and powdered mustard. But also going in is chopped onions and some garlic. Now, I've got a pan over here, right there. And the instructions say to wait till it heats up before you add the hamburger. And so we'll be back when that happens. All right. Our pan is hot. This lean ground beef is going in, but if you don't have lean ground beef, just use um, regular and drain it in the end. And before I did this, I actually I sprayed the bottom of a nine it's nine by thirteen pan, but. Uh, I was supposed to get dinner rolls, which were a little large, and I forgot them, and I was at the checkout, and they had these Hawaiian rolls, which are smaller, so I just got those rather than have to go back. Um, I'm going to take part of this out. Rather than to have to go back into the store and hunt again. So I'm going to take part of it out. It seems like an awful lot of meat, doesn't it? Of course, the recipe only calls for a pound, and I put in two pounds. So, hopefully I took enough out. Alright, now that I got it kind of crushed up in here, I'm going to add this salt and pepper and dried mustard. <clears throat> and the smoked paprika. I'm going to add that in. And uh, we're going to get this cooked down. Then I'll bring you back again. All right, I got that meat going, and you have to get it going before you add these next two ingredients. And so I am going to add three cloves of garlic, and if I add a little more, it's because I want like it. Three cloves of garlic, and. Um, Two cups of diced onions. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and cut up some slices of cheese that are the, about the size of your buns. Now there's one more ingredient going in here, but it's the last thing you add and it's a can of Rotel that's been drained. And uh, when we get to that point, I'll bring you back again. All right, we got our ground beef cooked, and then, even though this was lean, it's got some liquid in here, so I'm just gonna use a slotted spoon to get it out. And right down here are my little uh, jalapeno Hawaiian buns, and I put a part of a slice of um, smoked cheddar smoked white cheddar cheese on all of it and I'm going to spread this meat concoction on here I'm going to have a lot left over I see maybe one pound was enough I, I don't know
but I don't want any chintzy little slider, do you? I want a nice looking one. And don't worry about what falls to the side. I mean, you know, it's just going to fall. And <clears throat> under that cheese, I just spread just a little bit of mustard. Because I thought it would taste good on here. All right, now. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to put another slice right on top of that. And then on top of this, I'm going to put a one pickle. <laughs> now, I know there was 12 of these. I've done something wrong here. Probably that. Here we go. We'll just do this sideways. All right, now the top of the buns are going on top of that. Don't forget to spray the bottom of your pan now. And these are all jalapenos in here. And my stuff isn't ready yet. There's um, there's a liquid that goes on top of this and I'm gonna I'll bring you back when it gets ready. Alright, here's our mixture that's going on top and this is butter and brown sugar sesame seeds, Worcestershire, and a, and a tablespoon of mustard. And that's going on top. I forgot to put my pickles on, but that's okay. Going to put them in the oven for about 25 minutes, but keep an eye on them. We are back, and don't they look delicious? Oh, my goodness. They sure do. I broke apart a few of them on this end. They're very easy. They're very easy to break apart. And they're actually called pull-apart sliders, but I'm telling you, they're too hot to pull apart with your hands, so I'm going to give Sam a couple of them. And I'm also giving him a fork because, you know, that... Um, you won't show them that? That looks delicious. Yeah. I like Arby's sliders, but these look better. No. Hopefully they are better. Of these are homemade, you know. Harvest can't do that. Pull that. Oh, you can't. Pull that pan out of the way. This? Mm hmm. Careful. This is Sam's plate. We'll give you a little bit of a close up on it. And I'm giving him a fork. Mm, mm, mm. I, I don't know, did I tell you it took mine at, uh, exactly 25 minutes, but, you know, watch your own in your oven. What is all this? Let me tell them right quick about when I was hunting this pet here a while back. I decided to get me another dog, and I heard about this pet shop that was supposed to have a talking dog and I didn't believe it but I said well I'll go down there anyway so I go down there and the owner's there in the front and I, I said I heard y'all had a talking dog here and he said yeah he's in the back by himself so I go back there and there's this dog and he starts telling me all I had won 31st place prizes in dog shows and how he was drug sniffing dog for the CIA and he worked for customs for all these port, exotic ports of call and you know I was I couldn't believe it but anyway I go back out I asked the owner I said well how much you want for that dog he said ten dollars I said how can you sell a dog like that for ten dollars he said he tells lies <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, let me, I'm ready to eat. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Is that good? It's delicious. Now, <laughs> it's on these 
what is it, King of Hawaii? Those are Hawa yeah, Hawaiian King rolls. Yeah, with, and they're jalapeno and they're rolls. Jalapeno. And the, the meat, the cheese, the rotel, the Worcestershire sauce, the peppers, onions, uh, it's got everything in the world in it. Mm -hmm. And these sesame seeds on top of this bread, do they come that way? Or you... No, it's the sauce I put on top that has brown sugar in it. How do you like that? I like it. I like it very much. Uh, it adds a little, just a tad of sweetness to the Hawaiian roll. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. If you've ever had Arby's sliders, or, or you've, even if you hadn't, they're good. But these are great. These are really be good. good for the Super Bowl. Oh, perfect! Yeah, I guess that's why. Well, you plain. got twelve of them there, and if you used regular hamburger buns, you could have a regular hamburger slider, a, a full size. Well, they're delicious. You recommend them? Oh, surely, yeah, yeah. Try these by all means, yeah. Well, all right, guys. There you go. Uh, these are Sliders Supreme, Pull Apart Sliders Supreme. Thank you for coming in today and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And please subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a minute. Until next time, you all take care. And God bless. Yeah, these are exceptional. That bread helps make